This is going to be the base. Two times 430 millimeters. So let's let's examine the wood. There are some cracks and voids that we will need to fill up with the epoxy. Okay, so I decided to go for 445 mm for the base. So here is the cut quality. It's really beautiful. It looks perfect. It doesn't even look like end grain. It double check the setup we have one inch from the blade to the fence remember that we are looking at the left side that's why this is barely kissing the blade we want to hear the sound and I know that the cut will be one inch So let's have a look, you can see the cut is uh, on the correct side of the line, we can trim it later on with the rabbit block plane, so we can make all the cuts without any further measurements. done you can see the cut is nice so now we can do the second leg okay here is a great feature of the miter saw which allows you to set the the cut depth the depth of cut so it doesn't go all the way down so we loosen the wing nut and then Here is the lever or lever. We want the tenon to stop on that line, but it's going deeper. So that's why we need to open this bolt further. Okay. So I'm tightening the wing nut now. Okay, so now that we have the depth of the cut set, uh, we are also going to set up the stop block, so we don't have to worry about it. Again, beautiful cuts. <coughs> Voila! Look at that. You can see the tenon is really, really nice. Let's see what we've got. 360 and a half millimeter. Okay, I'm going to prepare epoxy in the weight ratio 3 to 1. All right, so I prepared all the pieces, I taped it, I sealed the bottom and the, the edges. 
Okay, so now we can apply it. We can fill the cavities. I'm starting from the deepest ones that will give me the idea how much more epoxy I need. I'm going to clean up the pieces. side will go through the thickness planer to flatten the cured epoxy after that we will put the epoxy on the other side okay now we are going to clean the, the epoxy glue up using the reference bottom Okay, I marked the two inch squares that will become a mortise and I also set the drilling depth stop to two inches. So with the drill press I'm going to remove the bulk of the material and then we will chisel it out to be perfectly square. Okay, I'm getting close. Okay, now I'm going to drill 40 millimeters uh, of that cavity that will be supporting the body of the piano. Okay, the next step will be removing the drilled out area so that we can create a cubical cavity for the piano to rest on okay and now according to the plan the recess needs to be 40 millimeters Okay, let's clean the wall carefully. Okay, so here is my setup to make this bottom surface nice and flat because I did it by hand, so it's very uneven. So I have the spacer, I have the stop blocks and the handheld router with the flush trim bit. Wow, now it looks perfectly flat. 
just look at that whoa 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 okay it's going quite well the tape also helps let's check the piece Okay, done. So the next step, I will run the one inch uh, groove so that the dovetail bit doesn't struggle so much. All right. So that's done. Now we'll do the same on the other piece. And the final will be the dovetail okay i have the dovetail bit installed so now dovetail bit will go and just cut that little triangle inside that groove okay it went very well Okay, it may look weird because we will be running the piece from the left to the right uh, unlike we usually do it, but don't worry, it's correct because the bit is outside. Now I'm going to chisel out the corners so that the stretcher can go all the way in. Let's see if it fits. Yes. <laughs> okay, very nice. Fingers crossed. Woo -hoo -hoo. Wow. <laughs> this is really perfectly fitting. Oh, it couldn't be any closer. My God. Okay. So this is the dry fit of the piano stand. I put the stickers on the table to mark exactly the distance between the legs. I did the 90 degree test on all possible corners. So the piano fits nicely. So now I'm going to remove it and glue it. Okay. 
slide it in. It's using sliding dovetail. Okay, let's put the piano back on the piano stand so it will guarantee that it's correct. Okay, I'm going to leave it for a couple of hours, let the glue dry a little bit and settle. Okay, the glow up of the piano stand is done. It's quite nice, stiff and rigid. It doesn't twist, it doesn't spring. So the last step will be sending it to the 320 grit. So, okay, let's put the boiled and seed oil. Okay, time to put the second coat of boiled linseed oil and attach the wheels and the job done. Wow, <laughs> this is really beautiful. This wood is about 250 years old. All right, the final step is to assemble the casters. They call it iron wood for a reason. <laughs> you could see the water was boiling. the moment of truth all right very nice indeed i guess i'm left with no choice now to play something on this piano, even though I don't know how to play yet. But uh, nevertheless, I will play something. Stay tuned. Okay, and now uh, I'm going to play a bonus track. If only I remember where it starts.
Okay, let's try again. A bonus track. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> See you again in the next video. Bye bye.